Hi everyone, Cheryl here. So I wanted to share with you um, a project that I completed for Elegant Embellishments. So really quickly, let me take you through some of the laces that I used. So this lace right here, this is the, uh, the bridal embroidered lace. This is white lace number three. So really, really pretty. And then I also used this lace right here. This one's really pretty too. And this one is the white polka dot cotton lace and this is white lace number two. And then I used this lace right here. And I'm running out of it, I'm almost out. This is the um, vintage, this is the vintage lace. And this one is the five inch lace, sorry about that. It's trying to unfold um, it. So that's this lace right here. Okay, I also used a couple other, no, I also used one other um, trim as well as some other embellishments and I'll show you guys those in a minute. Okay, so what I did was I wanted to alter a record, <clears throat> but I didn't, the size record that I had, because I only had a small one, I needed one a little bit bigger. Um, and at the time I couldn't find one, so what I did was I found this plate in the store and so I decided to alter this. This is almost like a little serving dish. And it is mirrored, so it has a glare. So <clears throat> this is my project. So let me go ahead and go up. And then that way I can share with you guys kind of what I did. So I'm going to zoom in. So up at the top here, I just have this chip piece that I actually put some paint over because um, it was more like a green color and I wanted it to be whitewashed. So I actually um, painted over that and then I also um, put some homemade um, shimmer mist on it. And I don't know, there we go, that was a bad glare, but I put some shimmer on it, homemade shimmer mist because I wanted it to shimmer. All around the perimeter here is some more trim from Dee's store. And this is her box pleated trim. And it's got the rhinestones, like the bling in the middle. Um, so right here in the back, this is, um, there's some paper, some pattern paper underneath. And then this is that wide vintage lace here. And then this is the bridal lace here. Okay, sorry I was out of frame. So then I took a stamp from my stash. Let me widen out a little bit so you guys can see a little better. I took a stamp from my stash, I stamped that, put it onto some more um, pattern paper, and I sprayed my shimmer mist on that as well. Um, just to give it a little bit of a shine, and I hope the camera picks it up, because it's really, really um, shiny, really, really pretty. So here I just have bobble and some flowers from my stash. This is a metal piece, like the... Um, I believe this is the medium sized flower um, metal piece that Dee has in her store. And I got this idea to make it into a butterfly from Kamika um, on one of the videos that she did for Dee. Um, so I thought that was really cool. So I altered um, one of the flower pieces. This is a ribbon slider flatback pearl. Ribbon sliders you can find in Dee's store. Some stamens from my stash. This is a Roxy Berry from Dee's store. Um, this is a, a light bulb piece that says inspire so it could be inspire forever or forever inspire so I thought that was really cute um, this right here is a wood piece from um, this dress form a wood piece from witchcraft do you do this is another metal piece from D store this is the six petal flower I just took off the top and the bottom to make it into some wings um, for the uh, wood piece and then I just stuck a heart from D store and then also this um, bling piece. It's one of those like sew on, um, what do you call it? Like one of those sew on um, rhinestone pieces. Um, you can sew it on, glue it on, whichever way. I decided to glue it on. So I thought that was really cute to do different layers with this. Um, and this heart piece right here, as well as this piece underneath this flower, I don't know if you can see that. You can get that in these store as well. That's called the Blooming Love. Um, set and it's just flat back pearls and then flat back hearts <clears throat> um, some more flowers from my stash this piece right here that is the um, sorry I know I just shook that this is the bling four piece from D store um, this cherub is from her store as well this is a smaller 
flower, the small flower, and I just cut the one at the top, made it into a butterfly with stamens, ribbon slide, a flatback curl. Um, and I painted all of the metals white. I wanted to be able to see um, the true color to be able to show through a little bit. Um, so I didn't bother to gesso it because I did want to see it. And the same thing with the cherub. Um, the cherub is originally orange, but the orange color, I just needed to mute it down a little bit um, to kind of go with the rest of the colors that are in here. Um, some more flowers from my stash. This heart piece is also from D Store. I don't believe she carries this anymore. Um, cameo from my stash. A dove from my stash. This key is from um, Witchcraft Do You Do as well. And then some more flowers and bobble from my stash. And then on the key, if you guys can see that, that's a um, strip of bling that Dee also carries in her store. Okay, so let me put this back up here so you guys can see. And I'll zoom in. I don't I think I left my stand that I could have put this on for you guys to see for it to stand up. But I'll just zoom in really quickly and just pan down. So you guys can see the project one more time. I really like it. I think it's super, super cute. I just got to figure out where to put it. All right. So thank you guys so, so much for watching. Be sure to check out um, the Zibit store. Lots and lots of goodies, whether it be um, bling, trims, metal pieces, whatever it is that you guys are looking for. Um, also keep in mind that there is a gems and friends spring fling event going on as well and that will be going on until um, I believe May 7th um, you can also receive 15% off your uh, entire purchase in D store by using my code which is sure 15 so s-h-e-r-y-l-1-5 um, as long as you spend $15 or more and that code is good through May 14th um, so again, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll leave all of the information in the description box below and I will talk to y'all soon. Bye-bye.